So today we are reading from Srila Narottam Das Thakur, the Prem Bhakti Chandrika, verse 42. It is a beautiful book about the secrets, how Narottam Das Thakur did his bhajan and how his heart's feeling were increasing for his love for Radha and Mohan. And here in this text, Radha Mohan, he is saying, are the monarchs of my heart. So they are the king and the queen, always in his heart. Monarchs. Like here, the Rajabaya was born in the monarch family. So where this family also has Radha and Mohan in their heart. You were so lucky, Rajabaya, that you were born in the family where Radha and Mohan are the heart of the family. And it is very auspicious to be born in such a family. It does not happen by any chance. It happens because your soul wanted to develop yourself here in this in this circumstances. And this will be your best, best uh, way to go back to Radha Mohan's service. And Naratom Das says also, in this life and the next, so the Bhaktas don't care in this life or the next or whenever. It is all in their hands and we are being guided and we are being purified. And as long as they stay in my heart, I will be happy. I will be very uh, thankful and I always wait for their mercy. Hey, Radhe, Gopika and my Yoga Shakti. Nice to see you. <laughs> And Gurudev is also there. Jai Ho! I'm on with you. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> Beautiful. So here in this verse, Srila Narottam Das Thakur is explaining to us why and how Radha and Mohan are the monarchs, the queen and the king of his heart, and how he is praying that always he wants to become overwhelmed by serving their blissful love, and that the Sakis and the Mandris, the gopis who are serving them, they are the necklaces around his neck. We have necklaces here and these are pearls and these pearls are the neck, the, the jewels of, of uh, Narottam Das Thakur's heart, the Manjris. He has a necklace of them around his neck. The mercy of his Guru Manjari, of all his brothers and sisters that he always wants to feel on his skin, on his heart and in his mind. And may this matter always be in his heart. So after this, Takwa Mahashai shows the greatest example of the Gaudiya Vaishnava Sadaka's beloved Raga Bhakti by revealing his yearning after the merciful gift of Sriman Mahaprabhu, which is Yuga Labhajan. So I got this realization just before I read this, that actually we say that Saki Bhav was somehow before Mahaprabhu. But I feel that since Mahaprabhu, it has become so personal in the relationship of Radha Mohan, like it was never before. Because Mahaprabhu is giving this secret Paraki Bhav, which is usually not easy to be understood on the material, on the bodily platform. But Mahaprabhu was giving it in the purest way as Radha and Krishna coming in one person and Krishna being in the, in the position of a student wanting to learn Srimati Radhika's feelings. So I was feeling, good if I don't know if it's wrong or please correct me, that the Sakiba, which was given before, maybe was only 
that kind of mood that was when Radha and Krishna are married and not when they are in their Parakya bath. That was the feeling that came in my heart because Radha and Krishna in whatever manifestation they come, they always have servants. They always have sakis. So I felt that when Mahaprabhu comes, when Radharani is coming in her glories, in her strongest manifestation to assist Mohan to learn how to love in the way that she does and what to feel when she loves. That is the highest manifestation that is not easily for a soul to reach or for a soul to connect to, even if they have a desire. If Srimati Radhika is not there, if she is not connecting us, it's not possible. <coughs> Jai, Jai Ananda Maharaj Ki Jai. So now, Naratam Das Thakur is revealing actually his Yugala Bhajan, how he is always meditating uh, in the mercy of Radha Mohan and how he wants to serve them. And he shows the sadhakas, those who are, ex you know, desiring to also serve and desiring to take part in this beautiful, beautiful Leela and that service, he is showing them how to do it. And the feeling is Radha and Mohan are the monarchs of my heart in life or in death, meaning in this life and in the next, they are my Gatti or my supreme shelter. The Sakis and Mandris who are always greedy after the mutual Rasika happiness of the Yugala and that always are in their company are my very life and the necklaces around my neck. May they always dwell in my heart. It's the verse 42. <laughs> So this, this is what Naratung Das Thakur says. What is a necklace? What we put around our neck? We put the Tulsi Mala. Because Tulsi is so dear, she is serving with her whole body, with her, her, her mandris, with her fragrance, with all her love. She gives her whole body. So also Bhakta wants to give everything and all for the service, for the sevak, for the mood of this beautiful giving my life, giving my soul. And so Naratom Das Thakur says, in life and in death, means he's so fixed and so in this one point at all that he says, there is no circumstance where I will not feel the connection and the desire to serve Radha and Mohan. And he says that the Sakis and Manjaris, the bigger gopis and and her her helpers in the path, her her teachers, her good examples, her role models, he's wearing them like a necklace. That means always close to his heart. That is what a necklace is. What I put around my neck is always close to my heart. Always I want to also show how beautiful are these, my my sisters and brothers on the way who are protecting me who are showing me my service and who are giving me mercy of their service, who are connecting me. That's why we wear Tulsi Mantri on our necks, because she is protecting and she is guiding and she is blessing. And we are proud that we are the Dasis of the Dasis of the Dasis. And they are also not only decoration, they are the life on the soul. They are also our one and only. And we are so happy when in our spiritual path, when we also have big, big friends on our path who really care for us and when we can develop very good relationships. And Naratam Das Thakur says, may they always dwell in my heart 
May the service dwell in my heart and also may our friendships dwell in my heart. Let us be good friends on the way. So that is the loyalty or the strong, we call it in Sanskrit, mamata. It's called mindness. It's the feeling of belonging. Where do I belong? Where are my strongest bonds? Where are my strongest feelings? That is what Narottam is singing in his songs. Here's some coffee while has also come. <laughs> Nade, Nade. <clears throat> wow, nice to see all of you. Daiman Mohan. Hello, grüß dich. So. So the loyalty is always important. That's what we call also Ishta. Ishta is this Thakur, this Radha, that Krishna that have really catched or caught your heart, where you always want to serve them, where you feel I belong to their lotus feet. And then it says here, the goal of the Gaudiya Vaishnavas is Radha Dasya, Mandri Bhav. This is the merciful gift of Sriman Mahaprabhu and the dear most subject preached by the six Goswamis headed by Rupa and Sanatana. According to the Goswamis, this is the greatest and most extraordinary goal of life. So we are following Rupa Goswami, we are following Sanatan Goswami, Jiva Goswami, Raghunath Das Goswamis. The Goswamis, they are our role models. And why we follow them? Because they have such a deep realization of the reason why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is come. Why and what is his deepest feelings? He is Goranga, but he's also Gorangi. And who is that Gorangi playing in his heart? Who is that shining golden beauty? The effulgent of Srimati Radhika that Mohan wants to feel and wants to experience her love. And not only experience and serve her love, he is becoming a student of her love. We are listening this now for like, I don't know how long, many years. But to really feel it, to realize it, that is something that has to be prayed for. But by the mercy of Naratam Das Thakur, we are getting closer because his feelings are so pure and so intense. And he has such a great realization that when he was doing Kirtan, after Mahaprabhu has gone from the planet and also Nityananda has gone from the planet, it was shortly after they had left this world planet. Together with Janava Ma, they had this big festival in Kituri Gram in uh, Bengal. And all the devotees were gathered and they wanted to make a reunion festival full of love and devotion. And they wanted to come together to bind their hearts together strongly and to feel what is the goal now? What is their service now? when their lords have already went to Nitya Lila. And Naratom Das Thakwa, he was so full of love that when he did the kirtan, all the devotees would sing, uh, uh, cry and, and fall to the ground and they would feel and they would see even Mahaprabhu, Gauranga and Nityananda in their kirtan with dancing with them. So Naratam Das Thakur, he was like blessed by Mahaprabhu to come into the world as his own manjari because he had left in this one river, Padma, his ecstasy and also ecstasy of Nityananda. The mercy of Nityananda combined with the Lord Goranga's mercy had come to Naratam that after he took bath there, his color changed and his mood changed. And he became like a mad man or mad woman in love of God. 
So that was the power or is the power. And we also know nowadays when we sing the songs of Nara Tom Das Thakur, how they touch our heart. <laughs> I we also have to bath in this. Yes. And when we are in Vrindavan with Gurudev, we take the same bath to get the mood, the right mood. In Vrindavan, so uh, Gopika, Jainanda and Manmohan, you're all uh, in this river now. You are <laughs> taking bath in Drinking. that what Chaitanya left in the form of our, our Gurudev and we get the bath from this. So it is uh, the same. We can learn from this how we get the bath. Why it is a left over, even we not meet Chaitanya personally, but in his disciples, he left the bath, like in the water of this river. And you take a, a direct bath. So nice. I, we all like to go huh, back. Yes, we book, book the flight, Gora. <laughs> <laughs> we have to come. We are always ready to jump now. When Srimati Radhika and Goranga will arrange the circumstances, it will happen. Yeah, yeah. Wow. What will they? Man Mohan will spend three months with us. Five days. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ananda, my best friend here. Wow. How can you leave Man Mohan? Your best friends are there. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, that is how it goes. The bondings of the heart, they can make us become mad in love. And that quality we need. And I remember, Gurudev, when it was, um, the time was coming for your birthday, then the devotees wanted to give you a special present. And that night before the birthday, they hired a band a kirtan band from Bengal, and the whole night they were singing Naratam Das Thakur songs. And I, I remember, Gurudev, yes, it was not long ago, you were lying in your bed and you said, put on the speakers, I want to listen to them. And the whole night you could not sleep because the kirtan was so touching to your heart. And then next day, when you go in the temple room, you were sitting in front of Radha Mohan. And you couldn't sit there for a long time before because you had some weaknesses in the body. But then when you were sitting there, we were melting in your presence because you were crying when you hear the kirtan. And then also we realized how important is the kirtan for our heart. And we were just sitting there together with you and uh, also try to catch your melting heart feeling in our hearts. and to make it a big, big, big impression. How deep is the kirtan of Naratam Das Thakur in his prayers for the service of Radha Mohan? So I will never uh, forget this. I always want to have this impression in my heart, Gurudev, how the love on the songs of Naratam Das Thakur are giving us life in our bhakti and also giving us the, the fixed mood that we desire. Because it is important not to jump sometimes thus, sometimes dasi of Krishna, of Radha, of this and that, but to have one fixed goal in our spiritual aspirations. So the goal of the Gaudiya Vaishnavas is Radha Dasya, Manjari Bhav. This is the merciful gift of Sriman Mahaprabhu and the dear most subject preached by the six Goswamis headed by Rupa and Sanatana. According to the Goswamis, this is the greatest and most extraordinary goal of life. This is the highest step on the staircase of advancement in the spiritual kingdom that the jivas can ascend through their sadhan bhajan. So it's amazing, it is true that this is the highest goal. Why? Because it is selfless service on its highest level. There's no desire to enjoy, only desire to serve 
and to always be close to Radha and Krishna when they are also together and when they need our help. When they are in their ecstasies, they are very pagal, they are very also intense in their feelings, they need help. And we also try to help them when Jatila and Kutila are making problems. We are doing all these services and we try also in this world to be a Dasi in this mood, to always feel how to help those who are suffering, those who want to really go back to Godhead and to connect them with holy name and give them the sweet mood of Srimati Radhika's unconditional love. And that is inclusive of Mohan because there is no Radharani without Mohan and there is no Mohan without Radharani. Radha Krishna Pranapati means that Sri Radha Rani is the goddess of the Gaudiya Vaishnava's hearts and taking shelter of her lotus feet is their shelter as Sri Krishna's lotus feet. So we love Mohan because he is her beloved. We are always taking shelter of her lotus feet because like this she is using us and we can do any service that she likes us to do. And we are like this, you know, immediately at Krishna's lotus feet because Krishna cannot live without the love of her, his beloved Srimati Radhika. Jairadi Radha Charan, thank you for doing the prayers today. We will always be indebted because of your mercy. So, when taking shelter at the lotus feet of a bona fide guru, the Gaudiya Vaishnava Sadaka becomes acquainted with her or his Siddhaswarup spiritual body as Sri Radha's maidservant or manjari. Along with an introduction to her 11 fold spiritual identity, name, age, complexion, dress, and so on. So we know that we cannot serve Radharani in the material body. In the material body, we are trying to do services, we purify our hearts, <laughs> but actually, in the spiritual world, we can serve with the spiritual senses, and we need a spiritual body, a spiritual like version of our hearts so to say our but, hearts become spiritualized but one thing i think is a wrong conception when we think that when we leave this body we will at that time we get the spiritual body um what my understanding is that we can reach this spiritual body also in this life how the uh, uh the Go Goswamis uh, are teaching Raghunath Das Goswami. They are in this body and they realize their spiritual body. So we have That's also right. to do like this and not to wait until uh, we leave this body. Yeah. Oh. Yes, Jainanda Maharaj, you can enlighten us on this. <laughs> Please. <laughs> now I'm scared. <laughs> so, because Gora, Gora Sundara's explanation, Suniti explains so nice, you know, and <laughs> I cannot <laughs> say anything. <laughs> but it's sometimes it seems that, no, Jainanda, that we have to wait on the moment when we leave this body, then we get the spiritual body. But this is, I cannot see this because when we are getting older, and older, our um, possibilities are uh, uh, becoming more small. We have we have to arrange everything now, just now, today, not tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, you know, our subtle body, like material speaking, our subtle body is changing every day. So, so. This is this is material subtle body, and the subtle body, body bring us to into another material body. Right. But my, my my understanding is like this: if we practice this bhakti, 
Bhakti smash our false ego means breaking this, this, this subtle body. And then if we meditate spiritual body, like uh, for us, like uh, Radha Dasi, Manjari, Manjari body, then if we meditate and then spiritual soul become shaping spiritual body more clearly. So therefore, even in this, we are, when we are living in this body, according to our meditation, according to our you know, accomplishment, Accomplishment, then, yes. Accomplishment. Someone who is Sita means he has already, Swarupa Sita means someone has already made by the mercy of Guru, Guru Manjari and Radharani. Yes. So, therefore, you know, Gorasundra was saying the right. So, either we can make material body, next material body, or take the spiritual body. And we try to be, we try to make spiritual body in this lifetime. So we don't want to next to material body. So we want to smash this ego. And smash ego means, Guru Dev say we, we should give to the Lotus Mito, Guru Dev. We should give up this false identity, false ego. And then, then we can, this door of, like a Prema's door is opening. Mm -hmm. And this, this making the spiritual body, we need to practice. Sadaka Deha and the Siddha Deha. Sadaka Deha, we have to behave uh, love and care. And also softness, humbleness. And then spiritual body will be manifested. So this is my understanding. Thank you, Jainanda. Actually, we only have to believe in the blessing of our Gurudev because he is giving this. And um, the only thing what is uh, be between us and his blessing is that we agree. We have to agree, believe, full face, and we have to say yes. Then we will get it by his blessing, because in this blessing, there is the power for this Sita Deha. He is giving because it's coming from Swamini. It's a direct energy from Swamini, what is flowing to his Heart. Heart and foot, footprint. Padam. Padam. And we only have to believe this. Full face, what Gurudev always said, face, hope, and love. And this face will bring us to the Sita Deya. Like, uh, if, if we don't have face, then we our tendency becomes sanctuary. Oh, maybe this yeah. is good. Oh, that is good. Maybe no, this is good. And then maybe. always moving. <laughs> True. If we want, yeah, but if we want to, if we want to attain goal, we have to fix it. <laughs> to fix, before fixing, we need face. Without the face, we cannot start. <laughs> that I learned from Gorasan. Guru <laughs> Dev. <laughs> so, again, when taking shelter at the lotus feet of a bona fide guru, the Gaudiya Vaishnava Sadaka becomes acquainted with her Siddha Swarup spiritual body as Sri Radha's maidservant or Manjari. Along with an introduction to her 11-fold spiritual identity, like name, age, complexion, dress, and so on. Their Raga Bhajan circles around this internal worship. 
involving meditation on and establishing a self-esteem in this svarup. So this internal worship is important. We do things outside, but internal, what is happening internally? That is the, the thing that is very, very important in our bhajan. So that when we go in our internal worship, in our internal meditation, this establishes a self-esteem, a self-consciousness in, in the spiritual existence, in this svarup. The scriptures tell us of Buddha Shuddhi. It means actually meditating upon oneself in general as a spiritual soul. But of course, for a Dasi, it is the Buddha Shuddhi of Manjari Bhav during the worship of our goddess. Meditating on one's Siddhasvarup and establishing one's self-esteem is the real Buddha Shuddhi of the Gaudiya Vaishnavas. Yeah, underline this. Yes, Guli, underline. <laughs> I have become uh, no, now no, no, crazy, no, no. crazy for these yellow and green markers, Guli, and I always lose them. <laughs> Underliners. <laughs> Shema Jiva Goswami has written in his Bhakti Sandarbha, those whose only goal of life it is to serve God, meditate on the spiritual body for themselves, which is an eternal associate of the Lord and which is suitable for serving the Lord. This will suit their worship very well. And this is their true Buddha Shuddhi. The Sadaka must become a god themselves to worship the Supreme Lord. <clears throat> Don't worship the Supreme yeah. Lord without being a god yourself. Yes? So, this <clears throat> Mm -hmm. This is it. so if 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 I made a mistake, please correct me. Sadaka, so to worship the Supreme Lord, who who has spiritual body, we also become we we also have spiritual body. This this divine body called God. Some of us divine. If we want to worship divine, if we connect to divine, we have to be also divine. If we want to have a spiritual body, we, we must have a spiritual body. If we want to serve divine, you know, spiritual being, we have to be spiritual being. Yes. I think this means that this, you know, Sadaka must become God himself to worship spirit world. This is my understanding <laughs> like this. If if some mistake, please correct me. <laughs> Quality of God, quality of God, the same quality, body quality, senses like Him because you like to exchange feelings and relationship that you need to be like Him. And this is even more than God, what we are thinking is God, to be in a transcendental uh, platform as a Manjari, this is the highest a living being can reach and this is up to what we think is God. Yes. Otherwise, it's uh, this God is not visible, it's not touchable, it's not listening. We cannot get him without this spiritual body. Yes. <laughs> 
Debus. And with Debus, I can do it sort of Debus. Hmm? It's one statement in Debus. And with Debus, I can say Debus. Means he must be close. Hmm. He must be close. He must understand what he needs. What was the schedule? You can understand him if you want close. It's the same place. Yeah, same, same kind of, same quality, same position. Well, yeah, we have a saying, the birds of the same feather flock together. So yeah. if you want to fly in the sky of love of Radha Mohan, you have to be a mandri. There's no other chance. It's even if we meditate on this point, the position of a mandri is even higher than that of a god. Because we are servants of Radharani. This position is even higher than that of a god because these classical gods, they can never reach this position and they never can touch our Radhika. It has to be one like, like a Krishna, but not the Krishna as a god. It has to be this sweet Krishna of Vrindavan who can reach our Swamini. This classical Narayan or other gods, what we think is God, they will never reach our Swamini. Imagine this, this sweet relationship, they will never get in the classical form what we think is a God. It's only possible by the sweetness of this sweet Krishna of Vrindavan. And even the manjaris are more than this god. Right, Jainanda? Yes. <laughs> so don't worship the Lord, the Supreme Lord, without being a god yourself. The scriptural rules and prohibitions yes. definitely show that the votees who wishes to serve the Supreme Lord must think of his spiritual self in the form of an eternal associate of the Lord. Such a Gaudiya Vaishnava Parshada Deha associate body is Irada Kinkari or Manjari body. In other words, Sri Radharani is the heart's goddess dearer to them than their own lives millions of times over. And Sri Krishna is the Lord of their lives on the basis of the fact that he is the Lord of her life. Mm. Gopika, you can say something about this. I would like to hear your sweet voice. Radha, Radha, my dear. Radha. I just uh, actually I had a um, one difference from the if we go back first to the previous sentence about being like God, God like. The big difference is we are not God, <laughs> for sure not. And anything what is divine in me, first I'm soul. That's a spark of you know, the creator, but anything beyond that, what is given to me, who gave me that? I didn't create that. This is all given to me by Radharani through the mercy of Guru Manjari Gurudev. So our, anything what we do in our spiritual life, you know, we are not a uh, God. <laughs> we are very small and any quality is given to me through mercy. And that is the really essential difference, you know, here. That the manjaris are great. Why are they great? Because our clothes, our color, our mood, our seva, she gave it to us. Guru Manjuri gave that. He said, Swamini, accepting you in my group, come, I give this to you. 
she she is giving she's giving her own remnants to you that mercy came to us you know that just i felt to share this is you know big i don't want to be god <laughs> that's the point I, that's hey there, the point you know? It's not, it's not my business, you know. Mm. I want to be a Dasi and by mercy of Guru Manjari and Radharani, you know. The, and others, so just the one more point I wanted to share. Uh, Radhachan, you want to say something? Uh, uh, but we this, cannot hear. This statement from Venus. No, there is a light. Okay. Can you hear the channel? Camera, no. Yeah, now, now we can hear you. You have to speak slowly and loud. Slowly and loud. Is it? Is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now it's no. It doesn't mean God, but it's translation. Yes, it's a translation. It means a soldier. Who is playful, who is useful, like this. Mm. But it's doesn't that's important. Yeah, true. Mm. One thing more I could just share since Sunita Devi asked me, I will share one more thing. Good, Gurudev is always saying, he's been repeating so often lately that what does it mean, Sharnagati? What does it mean, surrender? And that we have to give our ego on his to the lotus feet of Guru Manjari, to Gurudev. And at the same time, he always told to us that all these material anartas and impurities they don't by renunciation you know the more i attach myself in my the more i attach to her lotus feet automatically these things will go away but we are not doing so we are still <laughs> in that uh, in that circle you know <laughs> but if we practice, the more we practice our manjaris for Rup sadhana, these things by grace, they fall away, you know. So we have to, that is where we have to focus. We should not focus the negative things. We have to focus that she already, if you got, you all, if she already accepts you. She already gave her remnants. What more you want, you know? Why you want to steal, you know, I'm talking to myself only here, you know, like, uh, you are my mirror. <laughs> Why still doubting, you know, is that we are already get, got everything. But we, if we not focus there, the other things will not change. So more time, more deep, we have to focus that only. We have to attach. And Guru says, renunciation is not our path. We are not renunciates. We have to attach more in love. And when you love someone so deeply, you want to spend all day only with that person, automatically you other things you will not do, you know. Maybe you get work call, you will say, sorry, you know, I'm on a date. <laughs> like, so we have to have this feeling, you know, I'm on date with Radharani, I have no time, you know. I have no time for other things. I want you only. And when I do other things also, you are, I'm doing for you. So more we attach, more our false ego will collapse because it cannot follow this place, you know. And then how it's happening is only because of mercy. If I have taste for chanting, it's because of mercy. If my bhajan is going deep, it's because of mercy. If I inspire a first other devotee to go more deep, why is happening only because of mercy? I am nobody, I cannot do it. But when I know it's mercy, then I can also sit in that lap of mercy and allow it to flow. Because I know I'm not doing anymore. It's only Guru that Guru Manjari is doing. So I can take out my own tension to be the doer, you know. This is the beautiful teaching Guru that is giving to us. 
So I just got very enthusiastic to listen to all of you. I wanted to share this. <laughs> Thank Beautiful. you. Thank you. So I, I love you all, really. I cannot believe how much fortunate we are to have this Sangha. Really, I'm so, so, feel so blessed. Thank you. Same here. In this connection, Srila Thako Mahashai has used the words Radha Krishna Prana Pati. So this Yuga Lakishore is his Jivane Marane Gatti, the supreme and only shelter both in his life and in the next. By using the words Radha Krishna Prana Pati, the blessed author mentions his loyalty to his chosen deity and by saying Jivani Morani Gatti, he mentions his firm surrender to their lotus feet. In the words Jivani Morani Gatti, he shows his surrender to the Sri Yugala in both his sadaka, self esteem, as well as in his Siddha self esteem. In his sadaka self-esteem, the sadaka thinks of himself as I am one worshipper in Manjari Bhav. And in the mentally conceived Bhavadeya, the body of transcendental ecstasy, or we would say feelings, he is immersed in the flavor of meditating mm -hmm. on the relishable service and sweetness of the Yugala Kishore. Underline. Oh, yes, Guruji. Underline this. Yes. So in his sadaka self-esteem, the sadaka thinks of himself, I am one worshipper in Manjari Bhav. And in the mentally conceived Bhava Deha, the body of transcendental ecstasy or emotions, he is immersed in the flavors of meditating on the relishable service and sweetness of the Yugala Kishore. Yeah. This is very clear, Gurudev. It's still clear. Mm -hmm. This is another wonderful condition of relish. Those who have even a slight experience with Manjari Bhav can understand this. In this, the Sadaka thinks. Radha and Krishna are my only shelter in life or in death. In life, they protect me from evil and bless me by giving me the good fortune of bhajan, ratti and prayer. Yeah. Yeah. Underline. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Again, we. Radha Mohan are my only shelter in life or in death. In life, they protect me from evil and bless me by giving me the good fortune of bhajan, rati and prem. And in death, they are so kind to bless me by giving me the service of their divine lotus feet. Or if I am not suitable for that service to their blessed lotus feet, they can give Keep me wherever they wish. <laughs> Their wish will become my very life. That is Sharanagati, right, Rudy? Yeah. In this way, the surrendered sadhakas keep the lotus feet of the Yuga Lucky Shore as the essence of everything and become carefree 
and free from doubts throughout their bhajan lives in life or in death. When the sadhaka reaches the level of rati, he perceives his siddhasvarup day and night, and he forgets about his present body. In that state of Siddhaswarup, he also considers the lotus feet of Radha Mohan his only shelter in life or in death. Although there is indeed no question of life or death within the Siddhaswarup, still, in the human like transcendental pastimes, the Swarup Avishta. Sadaka considers himself as an ordinary soul, subject to birth, death, old age, and disease, as do indeed even the Nitya Siddha Gopas and Gopis. In this way, the flavors of Sri Radha Mohan's sweet human like pastimes are nicely achieved. After mentioning his Upasya Nishta, his fixation in a certain worshipable deity, Naratam Das mentions his Upasana Nishta, fixation in a certain means or way of worship. He says, Don Hara Piriti Rasa Suke Yugala Sangati Yara Mora Prana Gole Hara Ek Kota Rahu Mora Buke. Those Sakis and Mantris who are besides themselves from Shirada Mohan's blissful mutual love and who are their eternal companions are like necklaces around my heart and my neck. Let this topic always remain in my heart. There are two kinds of Madura Rati. One is Samboga Ichamai and the other one is Tatbhavech Atmika. In the manifest pastimes or the pastimes of gradual growth, the heart of the Nitya Siddha, Shirada, Lalita, and others were stolen by some unknown, most sweet, beautiful man, and they had also offered everything to his lotus feet. In due course of time, they understood that it was Sri Brajendra Nandana who is the embodiment of beauty and sweetness. When during some pastime Sri Krishna's darshan was attained, then the hearts of Lalita and others beheld the sweetness of Radha Mohan's mutual feelings, and they became devoid of the desire to attain Sri Krishna for themselves as heroines. Rather, they became greedy to relish the sweetness of Radha Mohan as a couple. <coughs> For example, the Mahajan sing as follows about the pastimes of Krishna defeating the Kaliya snake. How many hundreds of Braja gopis didn't I see under the shade of the Kadamba tree, on the bank of the Yamuna, on the day I subdued the Kaliya snake? Krishna thinks and speaks to his friend. I tell you, O oh friend, Subal, then I was so startled that I didn't know whether it was day or night. Amongst them there were about two or four jewel-like girls, and among them was again one particular <coughs> mind-enchanting girl. She entered my mind and the resultant smoke of Cupid did not allow me to sleep anymore. 
Now I am constantly <laughs> meditating on her. Who knows the pain of separation? Who knows how the pain of separation feels? My body becomes skinnier and weaker every day. Govinda Das says, these are the ways of new or young love. Relishing the sweetness of the sight of the divine pair as they fell in love. Relishing the bliss of the mutual love. And being overwhelmed by this, Sri Lalita and the others carry equal affection or samasneha for Sri Radha Mohan and remain forever in their association. Rupa Manjaris and other Manjaris are Radha Snehadik, which means that they love Sri Radha more than Sri Krishna. Therefore, although they are Sri Radha's girlfriends, they are eager for her service and thus remain with her forever. This should be understood to be their nitya siddha bhav, their eternally perfect feelings, which is thus manifest in the Kram Leela, a gradually evolving manifest pastimes. And in the feeling of his Manjari Bhav, Srila Thakur Mahashoi Naratam Das Thakur says, These Sakis and Manjaris are the necklaces around my neck and around my heart. Just as a necklace beautifies the body, similarly they beautify both my body and my spiritual self. May these feelings always remain in my heart so that no other mood can ever take possession of my heart. Yugala Sangati Yara Mora Prana Golehara The confidence of the Yugala are the necklaces around my neck. It is sometimes also read as Yugala Bhajana Yara Premananda Bhasetara. Those who worship the Yugala all float in ecstatic love. This means that those sadhakas who have adopted Saki or Manjari Bhav, who become happy by experiencing the bliss that Radha and Mohan experience from relishing each other's sweet rasa, forget everything about their personal happiness and float in ecstatic love by engaging in Yugala Bhajana. This thought is always on my mind. In other words, my heart is always yearning for this. Such yearning is to be known as the sole cause for Raga Bhakti. Mm. May the devotional service of the Yugala Lotus Feet remain on my mind. May I meditate on their feet and may my mind love this Yugala Kishore that are the monarchs over all cupids and ratis and remain fixed on their pastimes. In the previous verse, the blessed author has mentioned the loyalty of the Gaudiya Vaishnavas to their worship and to the object of their worship. And in this verse, he describes the sorts of worship of the divine pair that exist. The worship of Gaudiya Vaishnavas consists of Raga Mark linked to Vidhi Mark. The main item of Raga Bhakti, namely Smaran, is linked to items of Vidhi Bhakti, such as hearing, chanting, and temple worship.
Srila Rupa Goswami part has written. Now comes one first from Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. All the 64 items of bhajan that are mentioned in this books, the process of hearing and chanting in Vaidhi Bhakti, following items like taking shelter of the lotus feet of Sri Guru, are also suitable for Raganuga mark or are dependent on it. Without granting, yes, the all 64 items of bhajan that are mentioned in this book, this is, means Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, the process of hearing and chanting in Vaidhi Bhakti, following items like taking shelter of the lotus feet of Shiguru, are also suitable for Raga Nuga mark or are dependent on it. Without items or practicing items of Bhaidi Bhakti, like hearing, chanting, and deity worship, Raga Marga's allegiance to the people of Braj will not yield perfection at all. Oh, the wise, know. what good is? Explain, you are reading like a <laughs> something. I'm just uh, trying to uh, oh. follow Please. the flow. Oh. So he is explaining that all the Srila Rupa Goswami has described 40, uh, 64 items of bhajan, like hearing and chanting and remembering, taking shelter of the Guru. They are also suitable for Ragamark. Or the Ragamark is uh, dependent on these positive. Uh, uh, practices like hearing and chanting and if we don't follow this that we cannot mood, enter the mood of Rindavan but he says also the wise will practice the items according to their own feelings but not practice unfavorable items for example we are listening about all the leelas of Rindavan but we have we are more immersed in our meditation on the on the Leelas when Radha and Mohan are meeting and how to accomplish the meetings and how to help Radha Mohan, you know, to overcome obstacles, especially Shimati Radhika, so that she can meet and how to prepare the kunj and how to make garlands and how to sing songs and all these things. We will not we will not uh, like to uh, immerse our consciousness in the moods or the feelings of the sakas or in the moods of the parental feelings because even the parental feelings are not uh, favorable to uh, feeling of of our yuga lucky uh, feelings because i just read this morning mother yashoda she cannot uh, think of krishna having a, a girlfriend she only sees him as her, her lala. She cannot think about that. She, it's not her feeling. So the Mandribhav or Ragamaga Sadakas will hear and will chant about the, the subject of the Leelas that increase our feelings that will make us grow in our, in our uh, as he has explained, desire to become a Mandri. So we have to uh, think about these uh, feelings that they will grow in our hearts and so according to that we will hear and we will chant and we will do deity worship for example when we dress the takujis when we are doing a uh, massage we can always think how we are serving our radharani and our mohan when they are together in the kunj so this is our meditation this is our our inspiration and we will always feel in this uh, feelings that are nourishing my my, my uh, consciousness as a small Dasi of Radha Rani, who is serving her to meet her beloved and to please her beloved according to Shimati Radhika's desire. Otherwise, 
if we don't, uh, if we stop uh, reading and chanting and hearing, we cannot reach the desired result. So all the activities that Srila Rupa Goswami has prescribed for doing worship, according to the Vaidhi mark, which are favorable, we will accept. We will not, uh, for example, think about the uh, relationship that Krishna has in Dwaraka. Right, Gopinath, you know better than me. <laughs> no, I, you're so inspiring. It's okay. So can, you can hear it? Yes. Give them. I like to speak in the mic. <laughs> <laughs> so, actually, there's a, a very, um, something very beautiful what you, what you just said. It's, um, everything we have to do has to be favorable to deepen our budget, right? It is. Yes. And everything. So, you show them like uh, the sakra, the gopis, now the question comes, are they favorable for our seva, our budget? <laughs> they are, of course, Rijabasis, they are, you know, um, uh, ragatmikas, so some things we should aspire to follow. But I Gurudev, I just came across this verse again. I was sharing with Gurudev the other day. I think it's his Tavavali, the Raghunath Goswami prays. He says, Oh, all glories to the family and friends of Radharani, but please stay outside of the entrance of the Kunja. Don't block the entrance of the Kunja. Please stay aside. And I was thinking, my God, you know, Seva in the Kunja means we have to be very careful about the Bhav. This is what our Gorasundar always stresses. He's hammering it to us. Be careful of the Bhav. Which Bhav you want to take? And Raghunath does to Swami Gurudev is praying, all glories to you. All glories to you, but please stay aside. Like, don't obstruct <laughs> my meditation. So I was thinking this we can also translate to the mind or to any kind of uh, practice we do. So all glories to you, my dear mind, but please step a little aside. Don't, make, don't obstruct my vision that I can do my meditation, my bhajan, I can do my service to my Swami. Please, you know, you are the greatest mind. You, I love you. <laughs> I love you. Go a little bit to the side. No, Guru Yeah. I this love you when you're shy. <laughs> so, Guru, what does it mean? All glories to the family and friends of Radharani. But please stay aside. <coughs> um, yeah. That is respectful to all of you because you are merciful, more high voice, merciful. But not block my way. <laughs> I go. Manjari prayed to all Sakis, but said, thank you. I have to go with my son. <laughs> they respect to Sakis. <laughs> they respect to Sakis. But when Sami is going, said, no bother, I said, please. Excuse me. I have to go to serve. Mm -hmm. And they took something in hand that was oh, very important. That seems very important. <laughs> so nobody can block him because he is going for service. And she so clever, she knows where she's going, that way she brings the 
some place garments, some place clothes, some place ornaments, some place some what is the necessary, she knows that. So nobody can, senior will do it and nobody will block that. <coughs> but, so they want only clear cut way to go in the service to bring Swami. She is not alone. So they are respectful and here. You go watch your body here. <laughs> go to rest, relax. I will take care, I will clean it. Mm. Nicely to keep it. <laughs> Always very careful that how to bring some Everything has to be clean and no blockage on way to. Mm. This is the chatu. This is the Chatu Vida, Sri Bhagavat Prasad. <laughs> this is the expertise. <laughs> <laughs> you say so fast. No Sorry, Guru. Hey, look who is there hiding. Mm. My God, you are hiding from us. Our the son Dana. is hiding, Guru. Oh, Our son is hiding. <laughs> Dana, so nice. Hey, say something. So, <laughs> like, uh, so there, are two, there are two visions so far without us. So we just read uh, Krishna's vision on the other end. So his blog, first he saw million, millions of gopis. Then he has seen two or four, and among them one. The other end is vision, only one content. No. Only Krishna. So <laughs> only, only one, the one side. There are no block, no block. No, no confusion. Other. Oh, very nice. Wow. Thank you, our dear. So lucky and so happy to see you with Guru. Taitanya Prem. Yes, Guru, if that is the point here, I will see the heart's uh, most precious meditation. Although respecting all the devotees and all the leelas around. But here also one sentence, Baba is like culminating it all. And he says, in Raga Mark, the Gaudiya Vaishnavas Bhajan is not performed according to scriptural injunction. As in the case with Vaidhi Bhakti worshippers, their worship is driven by sacred passion or sacred greed. Wow. That means spontaneous love. And if we come to the transcendental platform as Bridge Basi, then there is no question about rules and regulations. There is uh, there is no no place for this. Only spontaneous love. And that we need, yes, to Daniel Graham. They can keep them. So, uh, before uh, Shripad was asking for blessing in this life for Rati and Prem. So, this is Rati, this sacred treatment that uh, where our budget, the budget begins. It was not explained how just when this happens, how it happened. Wow. But they, what they're explaining, like, Rati is Kamadev's wife. So in material world, two lovers meet. It happens spontaneously somehow. Mm -hmm. Some persons, it happens, to some it doesn't happen. So how one comes to this point of Rati in spiritual world, this, this, um, Kadakarisha Sikraman. 
Hmm? I think it is that our Gopika Didi also he, she she was telling us very nicely it's all the mercy of Guru. It's all coming from those who have this Rati. The question was how to get the Rati for the for the uh, you know sadaka how to come to the platform of rati because naratam das Thakur or ananda das babaji explain from the platform of rati on we are always eternally living in our siddhasvaru right is that what you meant so he says that it comes by those who are in that already and then by their association our our greed which is condensed you know, rati is condensed greed, is that like a madness that will always not let us lose one minute to it's reach the goal. Like a fever. Yeah, like a fever. You get fever, you get sick. You are still in this material body, but fever is there, high temperature. So. But this is all right. The result. Huh? But how to come to this? This is already the result. That yes, this is already the result. Fever yeah, fever there. you get by one who has fever. <laughs> <laughs> you, you only need to sit with one person who has fever. The virus will sit, catch you. Sit, Very close. sit for two days, you will get the result. <laughs> <laughs> you will become hot. <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> you need you need to search for one who has a high fever. Then you will get it. <laughs> you can read about fever. You can read a uh, thousand books about fever. You will not get the fever. But without reading one book, one one verse, only sit with one who has fever. You will get it. Is he going? Dora <laughs> Sunda can uh, uh, be, uh, you know, he witness it. He is yeah. always sleeping with Gurudev. Yeah, we yeah. were there for three weeks. I did not see him one night. He yeah, always yeah. left me alone. Now he loves Gurudev more than myself. So now you know the result. He's full of fever. And I'm very happy about this. <laughs> <laughs> he has a high fever now. And I think that he needs a doctor in Vrindavan soon. <laughs> But material fever will leave you after two weeks. But this kind of fever will never leave you. You will stay in this hot temperature. Problem. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> Not curable. <laughs> Not curable, no. <laughs> it gets worse and worse. Guaranteed. <laughs> sure. You have to be in Vrindavan then forever because that's the only the only place for the healing or for how this fever can be increased in such a you know way that you can live with it. Otherwise, it will not be possible. <laughs> Jai Gurudev, are you happy and satisfied today? Our subject was this. It will slow down, we can more clear understanding. My English is very good. Okay, good. So, if there is also subject of puzzling and find out where you are. They are very highly elevated. They make puzzle to us mm. and they check where you are standing, so no need to us go in the puzzle and fix yourself. Yes, Guru. Yeah, I'm completely puzzled by your love. <laughs> no, but how the Mahajans make us puzzle? Many things they will say, and then they will conclude the subject. Yes, and they check where you are. You can check yourself. 